Uh, our dictionary corner with that wonderful, wonderful Connie Fisher. She's here for her second visit, not by popular request, but by popular demand. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Lovely to see you again, Connie. Actor, singer, and TV presenter, and lots of stories from you, I know. Yes, lots forward. to tell you. I've been up to a lot, so. Uh... Excellent. <laughs> All right. With the U. With O U. Oh, isn't that? Oh, no, there isn't. In the corner, now then, what have we got? It's Rebels. Is that in there? Rebels. Good, that's in there. Excellent. Um, and poser. Hopefully po we're not. Poser, we're not one of those. Sure uh, or, what is that? Rubles. Rubles. Yes. Ah. Fair Russian friend, exactly. Oh. Excellent, but well done. Well done. I is traded, fed and afraid. Susie? A um, few sevens. Yes. Um, Fadia, um, air date, which is a transmission date of a programme. OK. Um, and drifted. Uh, but radiated was definitely tops. Very good. You'd be so kind. Uh, well, it's a verb, and it means to clothe uh, yourself, to dress in something noticeable or impressive. So it's the root of accoutrement, obviously, yeah. some sort of additional lovely item of clothing. More anchors? We had an anchor. Uh, we had an anchor and a corn. Yeah. Um, and there is a seven there as well, which is um, coronae. And we talk about the sun's corona that you can see um, during a total eclipse, and coronae is the plural. Thank you. Very good. Our old friend, the Gadisha. Oh, I'm in. Well, Connie. We were, just, we were just laughing about that. We had uh, fidgets, um, uh, sighted, but Gadishas. Gadishas. Yeah, frantically busy, so we're grateful that you found time to come and see us again. Oh, thank you. Now, I've been very, very busy uh, presenting and just having fun. You see, usually I'm on stage um, with musicals, but I've taken some time to kind of enjoy myself. So, uh, recently, I went on holiday with my husband <clears throat> and we went to a place called uh, Going in Austria. Mm -hmm. And it's not somewhere I'd been before, but I discovered this incredible spa over there. And uh, we were there for a friend's wedding, somebody I met whilst I was doing The Sound of Music. And well, my mum always told me, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So we were over there and uh, we'd had a few beverages and everyone said, let's go to the spa. But the mother of the bride said, now, you're over here, and the Germans wouldn't like it if you didn't fit in with their etiquette. So you mustn't wear your swimming cosy to the spa. Well, my husband went pale. Uh, <laughs> but after a few more beverages, we went to the spa, just me and my husband. I went to the dressing room, into the changing rooms, came out, and I chickened out. I was full cosy. Uh, but my husband, he'd gone the whole hog, just like the Germans. So we went into the, into the sauna, and we sat there for 10 minutes without discovery until the door creaked and he was like, oh no, I can't believe this, somebody's coming in. Who else but the mother of the bride, <laughs> fully costumed. And she took one look at my husband and went, oh, I'm not looking. <laughs> and then she went, I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> and later on in the, in the wedding speeches, uh, we were having a great time, but the mother of the bride said a few words and she said, well, it's been a wonderful week here. Uh, I've, I've just had the best time and I've seen some amazing sights. Yeah. And she winked at Jeremy. <laughs> so when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Lovely. Uh, fantastic. It's a double L. A-N-E-R-O-S. In South America, they are inhabitants of um, an Alano, which is a treeless, grassy plain. Fantastic. Good. Very good. Happy enough? Yep, happy. Oh, oh uh, from... enemies go away, minuet, and moved and mounted. That's what we had. Good. Uh, a hot oven. Uh, I've got hearty. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, you've taken my uh... breath away. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Um, tother, as in not this one, but tother. That's uh, it. Uh, and theory is also theory. six. Theory. 77. <laughs> I have a big one, I think. Um, not there, I'm afraid. Lovely shot. sounding word. Um, and uh, noisome is um, absolutely fine. That's N O I. Um, it's having an extremely offensive smell. So, pongies, quite on the same theme, really. I've got a bit of story with mine. Um, I was in the Channel 4 reception the yes. other day and I was quietly playing countdown whilst I was waiting. And I thought I saw poison. On, in the letters. So I shouted out quite confidently, poison, poison, and I gathered a bit of a crowd. Yeah. And there weren't two O's. So finally today, <laughs> I've got poison. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm going to talk about hands. So hands in um, English, because there are many, many idioms um, to do with that particular part of the body. Um, I'm going to start with gaining the upper hand. Um, that actually goes back, it means to gain an advantage. It goes back to a very old drinking game, and I think probably the most boring ever, but I think you would need to be drunk to enjoy this. The way it went was that one player held the bottom of a stick with one hand, um, and the opponent grasped the same stick above it. So it sort of went like this. And the person who um, reached the top of the stick was the winner. And the loser then had to pay the forfeit of drinking another round. It doesn't sound that exciting to me, but that's where gaining the upper hand comes from. Um, and staying with hands, why handsome? Why do we call somebody very attractive handsome? And um, Well, it once meant easy to handle. Um, and because that was a good thing, it moved on to mean attractive. And a very similar route was taken by buxom, um, believe it or not. It started out um, as a German word, biegsam, which means uh, pliable, really, or flexible in some way. Um, and because docile, gentle-mannered women were considered attractive, it, meant, it kept, went on to mean an attractive woman. Um, and then took on other female qualities as well, as we know. And hand over fist, finally, originated in the 18th century, and that was a nautical phrase. It began as hand over hand, and it described um, the vigorous action of sailors who were um, climbing up a rope on board the ship. And that meant rapid advancement, moved off the high seas um, to mean, you know, to um, go rapidly or in large quantities, hand over fist. Lots of hand idioms. Very good. <laughs> Assigned is great because sanded. Sorry. <laughs> Corner. What have we got there, Connie? A poorer version of a signed. I got, just got signed. And sings, just for five. So, Susie? Um, designs you can have for seven, but a signed, definitely. A Court is great. Um, I do admire you, Ian, for taking these risks. Um, outcries, as you would expect, yes. but not. A bad luck. Nine is brilliant, though. Court is. Fine. Tomorrow, more Tomorrow. stories from Connie. Definitely we tomorrow. We look forward to it. Sure.